NFL Week 7, Tua Tagovailoa and Jalen Hurts set for showdown in potential Super Bowl preview, Week 7 of the NFL season kicked off on Thursday with the Jaguars' nail-biting road victory over the New Orleans Saints. The action continues through the weekend with a slate of great matchups across the league with the informed Miami Dolphins facing the Philadelphia Eagles in the pick of the day. Here's what to look for in Week 7 of the 2023 season, Detroit Lions at Baltimore Ravens, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. After nearly a month on the road, including a trip overseas, the Ravens return home on Sunday to host the Lions. While teams usually take a bye week after an international appearance, the Ravens are getting right back to business. Having not played a home game in four weeks, both the team and their fans are happy to be back in familiar territory. I know our guys are going to be excited to be at home, that's for sure, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said. Our fans are going to be loud, and they're going to be into it, and they're going to be enthusiastic. The Lions enter the matchup with a league-best 5-1 record. Ever since their shocking Week 1 victory over the Chiefs, Detroit has become a team to beat this season. They're back amongst the league's top competitors after multiple years of missing the postseason entirely, Harbaugh acknowledged their recent success ahead of Sunday's game, Jared Goff is in the midst of his best season to date. Nick and Taya slash Getty Images, obviously, they're very good. They have one loss. They're leading, the NFC North, division. They've won their recent games by large margins. They haven't even been in a close game, I don't think, since early in the season. They're tough. They're physical. They're legit. We're looking forward to the game. We, can't wait to get out there and play, Harbaugh said, per the Baltimore Ravens, the main contributor to Detroit's rise up the rankings is quarterback Jared Goff. The 29-year-old is in the midst of his best. 